<laughs> I don't know. Hi, I'm Emily. Yeah. And I'm John. Yeah. Okay, let's try it. Hi, so I'm Emily. And I'm John. And um, lots of people are asking lots of questions about the van. Oh, that's Joey. Say hi, Joey. Hello. Um, lots of people are asking about the van, so we thought we'd just try and make a bit of a video. But, oh no, the cat's on the camera. <laughs> but we've never made a video before, so it could be terrible, but we'll give it a go. Here we have got our sofa area. I guess it's kind of like a living room, some people say, uh, but it pulls out into a double bed, which is really good. Uh, we are going to now set up the bed and show you what a simple process it is. <laughs> Fingers crossed. <laughs> We've got storage up here. I tend to put a lot of the food up here that can't go off or anything because it keeps quite cool and it's quite a handy space. If we open up this one, we've got the hatch straight into the front. Joey's now going to demonstrate how to get in and out of the hatch. Thank you, Joey. And down. Um, here we've got a picture of us, but underneath that's where we can control all the electrics and things. And this is very important because this is where John stores his keys because he loses them all the time. In here we have got all the electrics. Okay, so for the technical stuff then, this is where our, all our electrics are and power. We've got a 2.5 kilowatt inverter, which is pure sine wave. We've got a 240 amp hour Bosch deep cycle leisure battery. We've got an EPVA MPPT solar charger converter. That's our consumer unit for the 240 or if we're on hookup on a site. And just behind this, we've got a battery to battery Sterling charger, which is powered off the alternator. Um, over here, this is kind of my area, this is where all the cooking happens. So we've got a full gas hob, um, turn the gas on in the back, uh, but it's really, really good. It heats up super quick, so that's really handy. We've got the sink here, uh, the water goes straight down. We did have a U-bend and then it got really smelly and stinky, so now we've just got a straight one so it all goes down. Again, we've got loads of storage here, sort of all our uh, kitchen stuff. What's really helpful is that we've got the clips. Without those, obviously, everything would just fly about everywhere. So I think they, they're really, really important. We've got <coughs> more storage under here. This tends to be, again, where all our kitchen stuff is. And in here, we've got the fridge. And it's even got a little freezer compartment at the top, which is really good for the hot, hot weather. So if we swap over... So we have the double bed, but we also have this single bed as well, which is brilliant. Um, so it's really, really comfy and it's just somewhere that we can chill out in the daytime. If we have people come, then there's somewhere that they can stay. Uh, if Joey wants somewhere to hang out, he can just come and chill on here. Um, it's really, really nice. It's got a skylight up at the top, so you can have it a windows open. And it's also got a window out the back, which we're going to show you. One of the really good things about this garage being so big is that we can take absolutely everything we want with us. We can take a surfboard, we can fit a kayak in there, a, a blow up kayak, <laughs> not an actual kayak. Um, we can hang up our wetsuits, we've got an extra shower. Uh, we're going to hopefully make it so we might move the water tank so that we can also fit the bikes in there because that's one thing that we really wanted in the summer that we could not quite fit in the garage. We're going to get some really nice shelving so that everything can be stored away nice and neatly as well, which makes it happy. Right, so back doors, one of the big things we wanted on this van as well is security wise, we've got deadlocks fitted on all the doors just because we've put a lot of effort and time into the van. 
uh, and we wanted to keep it as safe as possible. Um, so on the outside, obviously, deadlocks, roof, we've got 300 watt solar panel, which is all you really need if you're off grid, it's plenty. Um, inside, so we've got the garage now. So, outdoor foot shower if you've come off the beach or you've been surfing, somewhere to hang your wetsuits. We've got the toilet cassette there, um, toilet fluid filler. Inside here, we've got the LPG gas, and then there's a Fiamma 70 litre water tank in there, um, and that's hooked up to a Sureflow pump, 12 volt, very efficient. Um, we've got some rubber matting down here, so it's very hard wearing, it's very easy to put things in there and clean it so if it gets muddy if you've got your bikes or your surfboards and then if you can see right at the end that's a hollow under the kitchen so if you've got a paddleboard or a longboard you can put it all the way through. So we have a full bathroom we have got a cassette toilet number ones only and we have a shower as well so I'm just going to turn the light on. In we go. So, toilet is the Thetford one. Um, it's a thermostatic shower. Um, it, we only had cold water last summer, which was a little bit chilly. So we, oh, Joe's joined, joined us. So <laughs> we have, uh, John is currently sorting it so that we'll have hot water this summer, which I'm very, very excited about. And we've also, um, we did have a bit of a problem because we didn't know when the water was gonna run out. So I just put my shampoo on and the water would run out. So what we've done now is, John will go through it in a second, but we've created a leveler so we know exactly how much water we've got, which is really handy. Um, the flooring did leak when we first sort of went away. Um, we got it all fixed and now it's all sealed so it doesn't leak, which is brilliant. So John's gonna talk about all the technical stuff. No. <laughs> Again, yeah. Right, so I'm going to go through all the technical things in the van now. Fasto diesel heater, so you can just see the outlet there. So we never get cold in this van. It's all lined with 25 mil king span, but as well as we've got the Wabasto heater. I think it's like a two and a half kilowatt or something like that. Uh, get a lot of questions about the sink. It's a baby Belfast sink. Um, does it weigh a lot? Not for a sprinter van, no, it's fine. Um, I wouldn't, I really wouldn't worry about it. If you're thinking of getting one, they look great, so I'd put one in. LPG two ring burner, really efficient, works really well. We've got a, a Waco CR65 litre fridge, 12 volt compressor fridge, works really well, really efficient, uses hardly any battery life at all. Uh, would highly recommend that. They cost a fair bit of money, but they're definitely worth it. Uh, TV is in here, obviously it slides up. As you so John, the big question, are you gonna quit your day job and start building vans full time? I would love to do that. Don't tell my employer at the minute. <laughs> but yeah, that would be the dream. Um, we've had an overwhelming response from posting our pictures on Instagram and Facebook. It's not really what we were looking for. We just wanted to share it with people and offer them guidance. Uh, but we've had so many messages saying, can you build us a van? What's your layout design? Can you do this? Can you do that? So I think eventually what will happen is I'll, the dream would be to go into van building full time and build vans to this spec. Yeah, 